The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. W.O.R. If Obama opened up his records, maybe Mitch should give his returns, and that would be a great trade. I'd like to see his college records. I'd like to see his college applications. I'd like to see something about his past, which many people know nothing about. If Obama gives some of his sealed records, where all of his money has been spent to keep them sealed, I would certainly make that trade. I think that's a great trade. The one, the only Donald Trump this morning here on the John Gambling Show. Uh, Mr. Trump, good morning, sir. Good morning, John. How are you, buddy? How are you? I'm all right. I uh, had an interesting conversation with uh, Wayne Root yesterday about this whole Columbia Harvard uh, transcript thing. And right. Boy, a lot of questions there. A lot of questions. A lot of money is being spent by Obama to keep it sealed. And everyone wants to get at it. And I tell you what, they talk about tax returns. This is bigger than tax returns. So it must be. It must be damning. Well, I think it's damning. I've been saying it for a long time. I mean, he hasn't proven a thing. And uh, there's a whole big. This could be one of the great cons of all time. So let's see what happens. But a lot of people want to see those records, and they want to see the college records, and in particular the college applications. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, it's a it's a hell of a story. And uh, if 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 some of the allegations or questions turn out to be true about citizenship and the like, well, then he's not president. Well, I, yeah, then then president. what the heck do you do about the, all the past acts well, that have taken I guess place? You have to figure that out. But, really? I mean, the fact is, he wouldn't be president very long. So that would be uh, you know one of the as I said. One of the great cons ever perpetrated on this country, you know, it, or anywhere else. Yeah, or anywhere else in the world, probably. I'm not sure throughout history because there have been some good cons, but uh, this one would be uh, right up near the top. Harry Reid, can you imagine? He just kind of throws the bomb into the middle into the middle of the fire. Well, it was a tough one. I mean, for him to come out and say that I know Harry Reid, and I've actually gotten along very well with Harry Reid, but that was a tough one for him to come out and say. And I probably think he wishes he didn't say it, but you never know about that. He might like it. Yeah, I mean, to, to say that Mitt Romney hasn't paid taxes with, with no proof to back that up. Which, as I understand it, is totally false and not fair to have said. And, uh, you know, it's a rough game, and they're playing it rougher than ever before. They played it very rough against Hillary, and this is even rougher. You know, I've always heard that the Hillary campaign was the dirtiest campaign ever, what they did to Hillary. And frankly, uh, I think this is going to be worse. Is Romney going to be able to stand the fight? I think he will. I think he's a good man under pressure. I watched in Florida where he was down and he had to go and he had to do it because he was in big trouble. And he won both debates and he really stood up. I mean, I think he handles pressure well. So I think he will do it, yes. Well, I certainly hope so as, as well. And uh, how important do you think, Donald, the VP nom is? Well, I think it's important. I think you really have to pick somebody from a swing state who's going to win one of those states because you have to win at least a few of those states. And I really think that it's important from that standpoint. I've never been a fan of VP in terms of getting votes, and I guess that's been borne out by every poll. And there's been rarely a case. I heard Lyndon Johnson actually helped Kennedy win Texas. But there's been very rarely a case where somebody, you know, helps too much. But in this case, if you take a guy like Bob McDonald or Portman or, you know, one of the swing states, Ohio or, or Virginia or Florida, uh, you know, you have to win those states. And frankly, I think it should be able, you know, if you pick the governor or the senator from one of those states, I would think that you, it would have a positive impact. So, in that sense, it's important, but generally speaking, it hasn't proven to be very important over the years. No, but again, if you if you got to get in the seat, you got to do it, and you got to use all the tricks you can. I think so. Yeah, and Portman would probably. I mean, Ohio. You can't if you don't win Ohio, you don't you don't become president. Well, so. they're all saying that, so that would sound certainly good. And he's very very popular in Ohio. He's done a great job. So I would think that maybe that would be a good choice. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. <laughs> 